Okay, let's talk about heel and toe downshifting. You know, yes, there's a lot of cars that you don't require that don't require heel and toe downshifting. They got paddle shifts and automatic blippers and all that kind of stuff. But there's still a lot of cars that that require heel and toe. And when I say require, I, I mean it. If you really truly want to be the best driver you can be, you should know how to le how to heel and toe. And yes, it's difficult to learn how to do it because every car is a little different and the pedal placement and the way the engine revs and all that kind of stuff is different in every single car. But eventually, the more cars you do it in, the easier it gets for you. And it gets to the point where you can hop into any car and within you know, a one or two shifts, downshifts, you've got it so that you can do it. So probably the biggest challenges I see people doing is just struggling with how they place their foot. And you know, to me, in the ideal world, you always have your heel of your right foot on the floor and you pivot from the throttle so you're working the throttle here and you just pivot over and use the brakes and when you then you go to use the 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 throttle to blip the throttle on the downshift and you just roll your foot on the at the ankle here using the heel on the floor as a pivot point that gives you sort of a pivot point here you've actually still got some pressure on the brake pedal so now you got a good blip on the on the throttle and that gives you the most accurate blip on the throttle and that's the best way to heel and toe now is that the only way to do it? No, because some people, the shape of your body, the length of your legs, all sorts of things, you might have to do that differently. I've driven cars where I've had to actually lift my foot up and you know, have the ball of my foot on the brake pedal, because that's the strongest and most sensitive part of your foot. So it's the best part of your foot to brake with. So here, and then kind of using the heel on, on the throttle. It's a little bit more difficult because now you're kind of using your whole big muscles of your legs here rather than you know being able to use that pivot point down here so you're kind of keeping your leg in the air so it's 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 not quite as good but you sometimes you have to do that i know of cars and drivers who have actually done it the other way where they 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 brake more with the heel and then use their their toe more the, that side of their foot on the throttle I tr really try to stay away from that because you just don't have the sensitivity with the heel on the brake pedal. And ultimately, what is your number one objective in that area? It's to slow the car down. So your braking is by far the most important. If you get the perfect blip, but you messed up the braking, that's not a good thing. So what you really want to do is make sure that your braking is good and solid. And that's why I always recommend, if at all possible, that you keep the ball of your foot on the brake pedal and then just blip the throttle with the side of your foot. Now and again, you know, the brake pedal may be down here and I've driven cars where I've actually had to use my ankle bone to blip the throttle. I've driven, I've had cars where, where, you know, it's, it's a big stretch because the brake pedal's up much higher than the throttle. In the perfect world, you're going to adjust the pedals. You're going to move the pedals so that they're at the right level. So that the brake pedal, when it gets firm, is around the same height, maybe just slightly above the throttle and they're close enough together that you can reach. And again, you know, part of that's going to depend on the shape of your foot, how big your feet are, the shape of your, how long your legs are, how they fit around the steering column, all those kinds of things. But the bottom line is you've got to find a way that you can be consistent with your braking, blip the throttle, nice crisp blip on the throttle like this, and ideally, again, it's keeping the heel down here, if you can. If not, you might have to do it like this. Um, but ultimately, you're getting that blip. And then the other thing is getting the blip at the right time. I see a lot of drivers who will put the clutch in, blip the throttle, then move the shifter and let the clutch out. Well, by the time you've moved the shifter and let the clutch out, the revs have already fallen down. So what you want to do is clutch in, move the shifter, blip, let the clutch out. So think about it as blip, let the clutch out, blip, let the clutch out. It's that kind of a timing. So think about those things, the placement of your foot and the timing of the blip of the throttle. Practice it as much as you possibly can. You can practice it on the street. I don't recommend that you practice it for the very first time in rush hour traffic, but find a place to go and do it on a deserted piece of road and uh, practice it over and over again. And you'll actually find it gets easier when you're on the track because you're braking harder, the brake pedal becomes firmer, you've got a better pivot point. It's actually easier on the track. So heel and toe downshifting, you gotta do it if you wanna be a great driver.